welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. That way. Okay. So, in this video, I wanted to talk about why I am making these videos. <laughs> because, um, you know, there might be some people out there thinking, what are these even for? You know, what's this all about? Um, I know for the longest time in my adult life, I felt like I was stuck in a loop. I just kept going around. It's like I was on a merry-go-round and just going round, round, like on a carousel, you know, round, round, round. It was the same thing. It, every day, doing the same job, doing the same tasks at home. Each year I felt like the same year. I felt like I was just regurgitating the same year over and over and over. And I remember getting to, uh, my husband and I had been trying to have a baby for over 15 years. And I think by the 15th year, I got to the end of the year. And you know, people make New Year's resolutions and I've been doing that every year. And that was the first year that I thought, you know what, I give up because I know I'm just gonna get another year of the same. I knew at that point, you know? Um, and in those adult years, it was shortly after that that I went into depression because we tried IVF and I ended up really sick in the hospital. I was in the hospital for 10 days. And, um, yeah, it was after that that I just completely like threw in the towel. I just gave up. I thought, I oh, just, like, I don't know what the point is. Why am I even here? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, what are we even doing here? You know? And uh, I just found it all pointless. The jobs we were doing, the, the whole paying the mortgage, paying the bills, but all of it seemed pointless to me. I just got to a point where it just, it had no meaning. I couldn't understand what I was doing here, what this was all about. And up until that point in my life as well, there was an emptiness. There was a, a that nothing could fill. I just felt separate from everything. I felt disconnected from everything. Um, you know, no matter how much my partners loved me, I didn't feel loved. You know, there was just an emptiness. There was a hole inside of me. And um, I know what that feels like, you know, to go through life that you're just like, what's the point? Why am I even here? Why am I even bothering anymore? You know, to go on, you know? Um, so I've been there for a long, long, long time, like caught in a groundhog day, you know? And I realized once my daughter was born, she, I had this belief, and I know I've said this in a few videos, that she was going to be the answer to my prayers, that once she came, my heart was going to be so full of love that I would be in bliss for the rest of my life. I would never be upset again. I would never be angry again. Uh, my life would just be perfect. That's all I needed for my life to be perfect was my daughter. And she finally came. But... <laughs> That's what woke me up because the first few months of having a baby are really difficult. And I found that none of the things that I was feeling before her arrival were leaving. Everything was still there. So that's the moment I realized that what I needed or what I was looking for or was not in another person, not even in your children, no matter how much you love them, no matter how much you love your partner, because I love my partner, but they don't have what it is that you need to be complete and whole and all the rest of it. See, because you already, you already are complete, you already are whole. But we are never taught as children, we are never taught who we really are, that we are these beautiful spirits walking around in a human body, you know? And with Reiki and all the healings I've done on others, I have seen so many beautiful energies, so, so many. Some really angelic, some really divine. And I knew as soon as I started doing that, I had so many people on Facebook complaining about 2022. And that was the year I started seeing energies and seeing angels, like for real. 
and I thought that for me that was the best year of my life you know I just thought if I go now I'm happy <laughs> it was um, life-changing you know but it was seeing the energies that I realized oh this is not what we are this body is not what we are and this doing this job and doing these things is not what we're here for you know and so I knew back then when I did the book you know your past is a gift and I started these videos I knew back then that there was a better way you know to live this life that there was a, another way of being that had nothing to do with what we've been told you know and if anything if, if even just one of the videos can shift you away from uh, one belief you know that you can step into a freedom of it and realize oh that's not even real you know because that's what happened with my belief with my daughter as soon as she was born I thought whoa you know it was like the whole <laughs> everything came tumbling down it was like a domino effect none of it was real everything I had been chasing my whole life or made to feel that that was important none of it was real not what your soul or your spirit actually wishes to experience it doesn't care about any of that it doesn't care about the house you have because you can't take it with you anyway it doesn't care about the car you drive your soul isn't here for that so that's the reason for the videos because uh, for me it's been the first shift happened for me in that year when my daughter was born I was having a conversation with my husband and he said to me you're still looking at your mother like you're five years old and as soon as he said that the seed was planted in my head I'm still looking at my mother like I'm five years old what is he talking about I was like what the heck is he talking about what do you mean you know, and I'm like, because <laughs> then I was in my 40s. I'm like, I'm, I'm a woman. I'm a 40-year-old woman. What are you talking about? You know, I'm five years old. And it took a few weeks. But once he said that, that got stuck in my head. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? And that's how that book was born, from that question. Are you still looking at your mother like you're five years old? As a five-year-old, are you still looking at your father? as a five-year-old is there something there that you haven't healed that you haven't forgiven that you haven't let go of that you haven't understood the lesson in it is there something there so I ask you that question today maybe that will plant the seed in your head you know that shifts how you look at the world because it didn't take long it took it was about the space of 10 years from that question to now I moved from being my mother's victim to I'm free from that perspective I'm no longer the victim not only of her but of anything I am not the victim so it's such a lovely feeling you know because it frees you to really enjoy no matter where you are no matter what your house looks like you know because ours is falling apart but it does its job you know our car is 15 years old it's falling apart it's constantly at the mechanics you know but it gets me to work you can be happy no matter what is in your life right now you can be happy it's just about how you're looking at it it's about the perspective learning to look at things through the eyes of love it's got nothing to do with another person what they did to you what they didn't do to you all the stories that go with it that was them and their experiences from their childhood are what got them to where you met them and they could only give you <laughs> what they knew 
they didn't heal all the hurt from their childhood. They can't give you anything else but more of that hurt. That's all they know. They don't know any better. And that's so important to understand. Because once you understand that, you realize it was never about you. <laughs> it was never about you. Ah. See, that's a beautiful seed in itself. It was never about me. What happened in my childhood was never about me. It's what they were going through. And I just happened to come into that at that point in their lives. few little seeds planted in this one. First, am I still looking at one of my parents as if I'm still five years old? At that point, I haven't moved from there. And two, it was never about me. It was never about you. So sit with those today. And yeah, really, you know, I'd love if, you know, people share their, their what they're going through, their ideas. It helps me to create more videos because I get messages all the time about the things I hear about other people's experiences all the time. And, uh, yeah, see how you go. But these videos are about planting seeds, about you looking at yourself, looking at your life, because this is your life, not anyone else's. Nobody else can walk in your shoes, only you. Not your husband, not your children. Nobody else can take your place and walk in your shoes. This is your life. This is what you came to experience. All right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos, any of the messages, any of the little seeds that were being planted. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.